Welcome to the Ask the Expert segment of Your Health Matters. Today, our special guest is Julie Kugler Bentley, clinical social worker for Meredith Medical Center's Behavioral Health Program. Our topic today is seasonal affective disorder. Now, welcome, Julie. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Now, what is seasonal defective, affective disorder? Seasonal affective disorder is actually a kind of depression, and the reason it's called seasonal affective disorder is because people who have it get it in the late fall and it lasts throughout the winter every year. Okay, um, what causes it? Well, a number of things can, can cause it. I mean, one of the things that puts you at risk for it is if you have a family history of depression, if you're female, <laughs> as usual, right? <laughs> and um, if you live, the further away you live from the equator, the more at risk you are because you have exposure to less sunlight if you live further away from the equator. Um, some of the symptoms are very similar to the symptoms of depression. So you might have um, somebody with very depressed mood, just very sad, sometimes tearful, um, problems concentrating on things, interruption in a sleep pattern, um, appetite disturbance in particular, just kind of wanting complex carbohydrates, which as us women know can lead to weight gain. So that's a real problem for people who have seasonal affective disorder. Um, some people have anxiety with it as well, um, and they just tend to withdraw from other people socially. So if you had this disorder, how would you go about treating it? Well, first of all, you have to decide if you really have the disorder, because I'm sure you, like I have heard many people say, you know, oh, I hate getting up in the morning and it's dark. I leave work and it's still dark. Um, you know, we all tend to not like those winter months. But if you have several of those symptoms that I talked about and it's causing you some problems, maybe at work or at school, in relationships, um, it's a good idea to make a, an appointment with your primary care provider or seek out the advice of a mental health provider. Um, how would you go about preventing it, especially if you're one of those people, like you said, who leaves when it's dark, gets home when it's dark, how do you avoid it? There's really no um, statistical or, um, study that says you can prevent true seasonal affective disorder. However, if you know, you're bothered by the change in season, it's a good idea to get some regular exercise every day. And even if you're not bothered by the change in season, it's a good idea to do that. Um, also, it's a good idea to sit by a window if you don't have a window in your office, if you, you know, are, have to be in a cubicle or something like that at work all day. If you get breaks, take your breaks, go outside even on the coldest of days and get some exposure to natural sunlight. Do you think there's anything else people need to know about the disorder, like any complications that could arise or anything like that? Well, if you think about, you know, the symptoms of seasonal affective disorder, you know, it can impact you at work, at school, it can impact you in relationships. So um, if you feel like there's a real functional change, it's a good idea to seek help for that. Now, if somebody has the disorder or thinks they have the disorder, does it sort of go away once you reach spring and summer? It does. It does. Um, but, you know, the risk of continuing it without treatment through the winter, I'm you could actually become suicidal or you know have other problems that are associated with major depressive disorder that you really don't want to do because it's really treatable um, so talk to your doctor your mental health provider and get some intervention thank you for joining us today you're welcome enjoy the winter months